Hello there, we're going to talk now about Excel as monotation. And first, a little bit what, what is it used for. So, in the computer program, it's kind of intermediate stage between binary and the decimal notation. Use less space than binary because one byte is equal a the hexadecimal number, and but it's still more than the decimal. Uh, it's it's not a decimal yet notation, so it's a little bit harder to you see what it means if you don't practice because it's not a daily notation that we use, but it's kind of in between of those two. And it's also used for declare the RBG colors in HTML and other languages used in building web pages. And most recently used also for the IPv6 addresses to represent the IPv6 addresses. So in the decimal notation you use 10 numerical symbols, zero from zero to ten. And on the hexadecimal notation you use 16 symbols that from 0 to 9 plus the letters A, B, C, D, E, F. So the number, for example, 457 in decimal is going to be 1C9 in hexadecimal. Uh, so using the hexadecimal notation, if you have one algorithm, you can have 16 possible combinations. So 0 is going to be 0, and the 0 through 9 is going to be the same thing, but the A is going to represent 10, B is going to represent 11, C 12, D 13, E 14, and F 15. So from 0 to 15, it's the, the numbers in hexadecimal to decimal. So if you have two algorithms, then you have 256 possible combinations. For example, 0, 0 is going to be 0, 0, 1 is going to be 1, 13 is going to be actually 19 in decimal, and so forth until FF, that's going to be 255 in decimal. So now if you have three algorithms, you have 4096 possible combinations, possible numbers. So you come from zero way through the FFF that's going to be 4095 in decimal. So you see that on, in only three algorithms you have more than 4000 possible combinations. So this is use less algorithms to represent more values. So converting to decimal, you take one line in decimal and the first one is gonna represent one. It's the the house of the unity, the unitary, so it's gonna be one. And if you have the second house it's gonna so you're gonna multiply it by sixteen. So the second is gonna be sixteen. And in the third one we multiply again by sixteen. And it's going to have 256. So if you have a hexadecimal number as 3, 1, 2, 3, you're going to put 1 down each house that it represents. And what we do is you take this one and multiply it by the decimal value that it could be. And so 1 plus times 3 is going to be 3. 16 times 2 is going to be 32, and 256 times 1 is going to be 256. So when you add all that together, it's going to be the 291 in decimal. So the number 1, 2, 3 in hexadecimal actually is 291 in decimal. So thank you for watching. This is it for this first part. Don't forget to check the PDF file for more detailed information of this presentation and also the exercise files to practice your new knowledge. See you on the next video. Until the next time. Bye-bye.